Hello Foam Warriors, I'm Dr. Flux and today we're going to take a look at the Dessert Pigeon Mark 8. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the Dessert Pigeon Mark 8 is a very cool pistol. This is brought to my attention by a local nerfer uh, named Andrew, who basically said, hey, would you like to take a look at my new dessert pigeon that I got from Mr. Heathpants? And I said, sure. So after kind of going through this thing and looking at its construct and everything, I'm very impressed. I think this blaster is a, an awesome sidearm and can be used in a war or an HVZ. This can be fitted to take either Talon mags or Katanas. And something really cool about this is that this mag right here, which was also developed by Mr. Heathpants, can be go into either a Talon or a Katana, so, or Magwell, which is really cool. If you are looking to get one of these, uh, you can get them from Frontline Foam, where they will completely 3D print these. Uh, the files are on Thingiverse, if you'd like to try it yourself, including the magazine that can go into the Katana or the Talon Magwell. So throughout the day from testing with this, uh, we can kind of see that the men gun dart, uh, cut down men guns, did really well in this. Um, you can also do other type of uh, half darts. I did notice that the worker gen threes, which I was trying, uh, the flywheels had a tendency to rip off the head of every, probably one out of every four dart that went through it, the head was rip off. So there is that to consider. I know the worker, the worker darts are notorious for losing their heads. So. I would recommend shooting uh, men guns through this, cut down men gun. So the overall FPS for the men guns were hitting around 105, 108 or so FPS, which is pretty nice for a, a good dependable sidearm. We also took this out and did some accuracy checks with it. And at 35 feet or 30 feet engagement, this thing is phenomenal. So really happy with it. The print quality of this particular one was just really good. I'm considering running this as a secondary to something like my Bulwark that I'm working on or even the Hummingbird that I just finished up. Having something that shoots the same ammo type as your primary is really effective. And the ability for this thing to take to Katana mags or Talon mags it just makes it they kind of complement each other well. So I will be definitely taking a look at possibly printing my own and uh, maybe even take a stab at this wood fill. One of the really good things about this blaster is you're able to do a, a field strip of it without needing any tools. Uh, as you can see here, it, the blaster breaks down very nicely and you could potentially do this, you know, at a war, at an HVZ without really needing a tool. I would recommend using at least a table because uh, some of the parts in here can get a little bit tricky. As you can see, teardown though is uh, once you're proficient with it, you could probably do it in about, you know, you probably break this thing all the way down in about a minute or less. And uh, you could put it all back together relatively quickly once you get used to this platform.
my overall impressions of this blaster is very cool design. It, it's just very tactical looking and very cool. It goes with a uh, kind of a loadout really well, complements a, you know, a flywheel, a short dart shooting flywheel type of loadout. The overall aesthetics of it, of the actual, you know, blaster with the with the kickback is just awesome. So uh, can't wait to print one myself and basically build one of these out. I've um, been kind of torn on what type of sidearm to use, and I think this is definitely going to be one that I need in my arsenal. So, but yeah, just want to thank you. Thanks, Andrew, for bringing this over and let me take a look at it. And uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy nerfing.